He has all of his own spy gear, thanks to Santa. Night vision earpiece, his icy spy stare hidden behind sunglasses with rearview mirrors, dark coat for dark deeds, a fedora because every spy has to have one, and a secret code book complete with a flashlight that looks like a pen. Six-year-old Jacob St. Jean is well-equipped to be a junior spy. There's lots of bad guys still out there, and we need spies to do the job. So what do you want to say? So last November, with the help of his mom, Erin, they searched the web for the BC address of CSIS and wrote a letter asking if the agency could please make a spy club for kids. For four months, silence. Jacob had the same question every day. Did they write back? Did they write back? And of course there was nothing and I would say, well, you know, they're spies, they're busy with important business. Then two days ago, a mysterious package arrived inside a letter from the Regional Director General of CSIS. And how did Jacob feel? Really excited. And why doesn't Jacob look more excited? Spies are usually happy if they save the day. But why the four-month delay? They said that uh, part of the reason it had taken so long was because they'd written the first response letter in invisible ink, and then they'd lost it. So then the second letter they'd written in secret code, and then they realized Jacob hadn't been trained yet, so he couldn't decipher it. Jacob didn't just get a letter. He got a CSIS pin and a CSIS cap. The old fedora had to go. No sentimental attachments for spies. Close show both sides. And his new prize possession? This CSIS medallion with a special serial number inscribed, which Jacob says we have to blur because, well, it's a secret. I would say I am very grateful. I really appreciate that he took the time uh, out for Jacob and responded in such a human, friendly, warm way. Thank you for the stuff, boss. Thank you, boss. We just cut into the chase, right? Now Jacob and his mom are writing a thank you letter to Canada's spy agency, and he can't wait for show and tell at his grade one class on Monday. He has a secret he wants to share. Eric Rankin, CBC News, Port Moody, BC.